Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The Asset Store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video, let's check out some highlights for October 23. In this first video, I'll be covering a list of free assets, and next ones, I'll be covering paid assets and tools. Let me know in the comments if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. And by the way, my own game has just come out this month. It's a fun game with some automation, colony building, and defense mechanics, where you build a colony, automate it, and keep the tiny defenseless dinky safe from harm. You then colonize other planets, gather more resources with the ultimate goal of colonizing every planet and automating everything so your dinkies can finally relax. It is out now on Steam, I hope you like it and please make sure to write a review with your thoughts. Alright, so on to the top 10 list, starting off with a really nice looking tool for making 2D soft bodies. This can be some slightly stretchy objects or it can be some fluids, and it seems it's able to do it in a very performant manner with lots of particles interacting. I covered how to do some basic fluid simulation in a tutorial quite a long time ago. The issue with that method was only performance. I'm surprised at how good this one seems to be, especially considering how it's free. I tried looking to see if it was just a free trial version, but nope, it seems to be entirely free. So if you have an idea for a game that is based on fluids or soft body physics, then this would be a great starting point. It also has all of the code available on GitHub, so that also makes this an excellent research project. Next, for some visual assets, here is a free military pack. It features a bunch of parts for making a military base. So you've got some tents, some sandbags, a tower, a bunch of crates, targets, and even a tank. So this would be a great starting pack, and if you like this style, then this tab has tons more. Then if you need a tune shader, here's a really nice free one. It's made by Ciro, who used to work at Unity and was involved in that really nice Unity open project game with that really nice looking pick character. That game was using a tune shader, so I wonder if this is him taking that and making it a fully complete, nice free asset. The video shows the shader being applied to Jammo, which is the fun official character from the excellent channel Mix and Jam. Adding a custom shader like this one is a great way to improve how your game looks. Personally, I always love tune shaders. Next, here is an interesting complex tool called Super Behavior. This one is basically a class that replaces the standard mono behavior. It automatically caches the transforms, it adds inspector property support, and already has some pre written patterns like singletons. You can easily define icons for your custom scripts, then those icons show up in the inspector and in the project files. It even has some interesting VS Code extension with some nice time-saving snippets. Then if you need some status icons, here's a bunch of fantasy ones. It's a super simple pack with some 8 nice unique icons. You could easily animate them to get quite a bit of variation, you could make them shake or change the alpha. So this would fit perfectly in any cartoony game, like for example I could even use some of these in my own game Dinky Gardens. Next, if you're working on a game where you need some regular humans, check out this pack. It features 8 characters, all of them fully rigged. It's a really nice low poly flat shaded style. The textures are interchangeable, and since they are all flat shaded, you could also easily recolor them. So with just this one pack, you could definitely get tons of variation. I could see this one being great for making a game, kind of like inspired by The Sims. And if you like this free asset, you can get the full pack with tons more characters. Next, for a simple visual tool, here we have some hierarchy icons. This is pretty simple, it does exactly what you expect. It can be quite useful if you have tons of systems in your hierarchy and you want to very quickly find them at a glance. It uses the default Unity icon, so you don't even need to draw anything. Although I also assume you could modify it to support any icon sprite to make all of your scripts look nice and unique. Then if you're working on a casual game, here's a nice and simple UI pack. You've got pretty much all of the basic elements that you could possibly need to make a casual game. You've got some frames, some backgrounds, various generic buttons and bars. So if you, like me, have no art skills, then a super basic pack like this one will greatly help your game look much better, even during just the prototype stage. Next, if you need some cute characters, check out this one. It's a pretty nice skeleton in a cute style. It's very round, it's got a very big head. It also has a humanoid rig, and also even a blend shape on the face to go from angry to sad. If you like this style, then this tab has tons more. Then for another really interesting tool, here is the Debug Inspector. This one is a nice and simple tool for locating all of your debug logs in all of your files. This can definitely be quite useful when you have quite a large project with logs all over the place. This makes it super easy to find them, even if they are commented out. You can then either modify them or remove them directly from the window, or simply open up the script. It's quite an interesting, very unique tool. Alright, so those are my top 10 free new assets on the Unity Asset Store for October 23. There's links to all in the description. Also check out my own game, Dinky Gardens, and I hope you'll like it. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.